Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Viajes Templarios. Welcome to Colombia and most importantly, welcome to Watape. Uh, today we are at the, the famous landmark. You will see it behind me, the thousand foot at Peñol. Uh, we are about to climb up this 750 steps to the top uh, to get the fabulous views of the gorgeous lake. It's one of the most visited sites in all of Colombia. It's very popular for all tourists, but well worth it. Uh, it like many tourist spots, it can be trendy, uh, but this is not gaudy. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. Uh, it was raining very hard just a few moments ago, and now it is just gorgeous. Um, so we're looking forward to it. Hopefully the hearts can take it all the way up the 750 steps. I'm an old man. I'm going to work at it the best I can. Um, but I think you're going to just totally and completely fall in love with Colombia when you visit Watape and El Peñol. Hasta luego. Welcome to the top of El Peñol. Uh, we have a beautiful view of the lake down below. We went exactly to the very top, which is about 700 steps. It's uh, right around 650 to the first observation area and then another 75 steps or so to get all the way to this point at the top. And we got a little ahead of ourselves downstairs because it was beautiful and sunshiny and gorgeous. And then we started to walk up and then came the rain. But the beautiful thing about Colombia is even in the rain, it's not uncomfortable. It was not a downpour, it was just a constant rain. As you can see, I'm pretty well soaked. Still completely comfortable. The temperature is gorgeous. And at this elevation, it's neither hot nor cold. Uh, it's very comfortable up here. So uh, if an old man like me can go up the 700 steps, you surely can. So be sure to click like and subscribe to learn all about Watape and El Peñor. I 
sense of it. So, but what do I do? It's Aguila life.
Welcome and bienvenidos to another episode of Viajes Templarios. We are in Huatapé, in the Calle Recuerdos, or the Street of Memories. Uh, it's a beautiful, gorgeous, it's one of the original streets in Huatapé. As you go around uh, the many buildings, you will see what they call zócalos, zócalos, or they're like al frescos in Italy. They're, it's the use of concrete and paint to make beautiful designs. And all the buildings in this commercial part of Watape all hold uh, these special individual designs that are different in every single building. Many times, uh, let's say if it's a, a panderia or a bakery, you might see a baker design, uh, a, 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 a cafeteria. Uh, or at the end of the cafe, you'll see the donkeys and the and the uh, uh, the chapoleros on the side. Uh, it, it's uh, walking up the hills, packing the cafe beans. It's beautiful. It's 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 beautiful. So Watape is is a magical place. It's a magical place full of many bright colors. Uh, beautiful building shops. It's also very trendy. If you're used to uh, touristic spots in the United States, for example, like uh, let's say it was uh, to Sedona, Arizona, or uh, or other areas near the national parks, they have the trendy shops, stores. Um, Watape is is that way. It's very touristic. It's very touristic. Um, but at the same time, if you go during the week instead of on the weekend. Because it's also one of the most popular places in all of Colombia for Colombians to visit as well. So it's best to try to get here in the week. I would suggest I always try to get here midweek. We're here on a Thursday, uh, and uh, you just get a little more enjoyment, not as pressured from all the people. Um, earlier, we ate at a restaurant uh, uh, that was gorgeous. Uh, uh, La Facultad. Uh, which is our favorite restaurant here in Watape, and it's a it's a grill. It's an asada, which is um, it was wonderful. We had a wonderful picada. I will also provide instructions to there in the links below. So please be sure. We'll give you one last look around. You can see in Watape, it is amazing. It's about twilight now. We're getting close to where the sun's going to start to set soon, but yet the colors are still uh, amazing here in this beautiful town. Notice the cobblestone street. So again, if you want more information about visiting the, the rock, uh, the rock uh, uh, El Peñon in Huatape, uh, also information about paragliding, uh, we can provide that to help you as well. Um, and uh, one of the beautiful parts about uh, Watape in, in Medellin is that it's so popular right now, tourist, touristicos and, and touristic, that you have a better chance of finding someone trying to understand you as an English speaker. Uh, there are also some amazing uh, English speaking guides you can also hire as well. But if you're trying to, on a budget, try to save money, it's still no problem. Just learn the money, learn how to say money, learn how to count in uh, a few simple short phrases and uh, you will be absolutely fine. Uh, again, just absolutely enjoy. Watape is maviloso in Colombia. So be sure to click like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, for now, hasta luego de viajes. Templarios. Gracias.